Hi guys, welcome to Office Blocks React. I am Office Blow Dave. I'm Office Blow Mike. I'm Office Blow Daz. Collectively, we had a three home run kings of this office. I wouldn't go that far. No. <laughs> this office. In our in our office, you yeah. mean? Yeah. I still wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We'll Fair see. enough. Uh, yeah. Some people in this office do a lot more than we do. Yeah. Right, right. Fair enough. Mm. Uh, yeah, we are the office box. Simple as that. Why have we done this? What's this? Well, we did a, we did one the other day about Aaron Judge, who's just done the uh, 60 second home run in the American League. Um, yeah. He just broke the record that's been hold, yeah. held for 60 odd years by uh, was it Roger Maris or, yeah. yeah. Uh, and in the comments, there was a lot of people going on about, we mentioned in the comment, we mentioned in that video about Barry Bonds uh, having the, I think he had 73, um, Sammy Sosa in his 60s, 65 maybe, something like 67, uh, Mark McGuire. I think it's maybe 64 or something like that. Right. Yeah. So they, they've all got more than Judge has, but they were all from the National League and they were all roided up, I think. Right. Or there was <clears throat> there was it, there was things behind it. Yeah. So people were commenting in the in the comment section, like arguing, you know, fuck Barry Bonds, no, Barry Bonds is this and that, yeah. for and against. So I thought, what better way to introduce you two to the, the other guys that, the, who's the real home run king would explain it in this video, I guess. I don't know yeah. who they think it is, you know, whether it be Aaron Judge who's got 62 oh, right, now okay. in, the, you know, in the American League yeah, or whether they still see Barry Bonds who play for the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. The, and a, what, good way, a good way to carry on the argument. Yeah. What <laughs> is the problem with roids in baseball? Like, I, I feel like it could be pretty... Illegal? No, no, but I mean like... Well, what, it's a performance enhancing drug, isn't it? I know, and I'm kind of being uh, facetious a little bit, mm. but at the end of the day, it seems I can like smell one, them. Seems like one of those sports. <laughs> it seems like one of those sports where Roy to make it more exciting. You know, if everyone's yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you, could <laughs> say that, you could say that with a lot of sports, though, couldn't you? Really? Yeah, but like but, it, you know, it's say fighting sports where people can get killed, and yeah. you know, it's, it's more dangerous. You don't necessarily want some roided uh, up Jack guy against what if someone this guy who isn't, but, twats a ball back at you, bings him on the head. I know. I, I know. Mean, so we both going into crowds the other day, didn't we? Yeah. You know? But if he would have done that without the roids, it'd probably do someone severe yeah. damage. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it's one of them where I'm one of them. I'm for all for having like a different setup in sport. Where drug leagues. A drug league, yeah. Yeah. You so know, you can take whatever the shit the, you want. Yeah. In the long run, roids and stuff like that aren't good for you. No, I think it's better for sprinting. <laughs> but they're, they're, not, they're, everyone, not for, they're not good for the human body, are they? No, everyone know, makes general, it to yeah. 34 and keels over on the pitch. And that's exactly. Their career yeah, over, I mean, but it exactly. was an exciting watch for the rest yeah. of us, wasn't it? Yeah. So. If they want to do it, then let them, let them do it. But then it'd yeah. become the norm, and then it'd, it'd just be back to like. It's already the, the norm in loads like of sports. Like not, not using drugs, it'd be just exactly the same. Look at cycling. In the it's end, absolutely it, rife. In the it, end, it won't make it any more exciting because it'd be just the norm, wouldn't it? So it'd, be, just, it'd be pointless. But then you find new drugs. To make it more exciting again and just keep upping it a level. Fucking cycling's never been exciting. No, I know, but it's yeah. uh, but I don't even know if it's a sport or not. A lot of sports they just find new ways of doping people that mm. aren't tested for. And that's, oh, they're that's always doing is, that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think yeah. cycling they should like you know do things like strap your feet to the pedals like they do, but you can't take them out. Yeah, and then slow it right down. So a car gets in front of them and slows them right down to fucking almost like where the, the, yeah. if they fall, try and make them stop almost. Yeah. yeah. See if you can hold the bike over a bit. Then go, then stop again. You know how to and make that make more interesting. Make the legs a bit jelly and then fucking wobble them. The way fall off or right on the edge of a cliff. The way to make that more interesting is two cars. So you take both lanes and you're either side of each other and then both slow yeah. down. So that's what they've started doing yeah. now. What I do is so. let the cyclists go off and then sort of a pack of dogs. Like, please, please stop. Jesus, man. Like yeah. Strap me to the yeah. back <laughs> and see how fast I can that's go. A good, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. Yeah. Can we have paintball guns yeah. as well? Yeah. <laughs> stop real guns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, let's find uh, out what this is all about then. The real home run king. I've had enough of this. Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs in 2001. By definition, he's the single season home run king. So what if he obviously used steroids? That was the league's fault for not enforcing the rules against them. If Bonds was juiced to the gills walloping dingers off pitchers who are also juiced to the gills, what difference does it make is something a dumb, stupid idiot would say. I was about to agree the with The real him, home run <laughs> yeah. king is Mark McGuire with 70 homers in 1998. This was the iconic home run 70. race credited with saving MLB after the strike. All <laughs> Bonds did was come along a few years later and spoil it. Unlike Bonds, Maguire and Sosa both broke a decades-old classic record, so, once again, the true home run champion is Sammy Sosa. 
That's right, McGuire admits to using steroids. Sosa hasn't. In fact, during the home run race, McGuire literally had a bottle of Andro on top of his locker. Didn't Sosa use like something in his bat? Ah, Is that the sure. one? Okay. There was a cork, someone had a corked bat, didn't they? Yeah, I'm not sure if that was Sosa might have used the corked bat. What's that mean? It's like Gives a, a, it's it pings a, off the ball, pings off fucking, like it takes it in, it absorbs it, and boom. oh, made of cork. Or yeah, cork inside yeah. it. Be cork inside. What ah, made of cork? Right. Yeah, made of yeah cork? I think it's, it's just like it's just a long That's cylindrical exactly thought, piece yeah. inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the only real PED stain on Sosa's record is from a voluntary, supposed to be anonymous test result that was leaked to the New York Times, the accuracy of which cannot be confirmed, nor can the substance in question. David Ortiz was on the same list, and he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. So Sosa's 66 round trippers make him the true home run king, if you ignore the corked bat. There you go. This ah. dirty, rotten, cheater Sammy Sosa with his corked bat in 2003, who knows how long he was using it? Never mind the fact it doesn't even help. And then how about Chief Sosa getting in front of Congress and using a translator as if he forgot English? If I were at a congressional hearing in my second language, I'd never do that unless I was super guilty. Which means the real, no doubt about it, 100% confirmed home run champion is Aaron Judge, who just finished this season with 62 ding-dongs. Bonds, McGuire, and Sosa are cheats, but Judge is a perfect little angel who never did anything wrong. Just kidding. This year, the dramatically titled <laughs> Yankee letter was revealed, showing that the Yankees were fined in 2017 for stealing signs electronically and communicating them to the dugout. Sound familiar? All along, the mm. only true clean home run king is still Roger Maris, who had 61 big boy blasts. The New York media, they were so mean to him. They wanted Mickey Mantle, but it was Roger Maris. That's just something they'll have to deal with. Until you remember that Roger Maris's Yankees played 162 games in 1961, the first year such a schedule was put in place. That's eight extra games to hit homers that previous sluggers didn't have, meaning the true home run champion is still Babe Ruth, who hit 60, count them, 60, whoopow! <laughs> in 1927. So there you have it. After all this time, the true home run king is Babe Ruth. If you're a racist, <laughs> Babe Ruth didn't face pitchers of color in MLB. The league wasn't integrated yet. How can that possibly be the record if you weren't facing the best competition? The real home run king is whoever hit the most home runs between 1947 and 1960 when the league was integrated, but the schedule was still only 154 games. That person is Ralph Kiner, who hit 54 spank me poppies for the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1949. But wait a second. Kiner's second cousin twice removed is current Yankees shortstop Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That's nepotism. He's an industry plant. We can't have that. So, Mickey Mantle's 52, he wrote a crass letter about Yankee Stadium. No thanks. Willie Mays' 51, wasn't he kind of a showboat? Johnny Mize's 51, he didn't even get a medal in World War II. Ted Klazuski's 49, <laughs> come on, you think we're giving this to a Polish guy who can't afford sleeves? Get real. <laughs> Clearly this era isn't working, but we still need integrated baseball before the advent of the 162 game schedule for any single season home run record to truly count. Wait a second, I've got it. In 1884, Moses Fleetwood Walker, a black man, played 42 games for the Toledo Blue Stockings of the American Association, an officially recognized major league. The American Association leader in home runs that year was John Riley, who hit 11, making him the verified, undeniable single season home run king. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whirlwind, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I like that. Very, very yeah. tongue firmly yeah, in like cheek that. on that one. Yeah. That's yeah, quite funny. That. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. I mean, yeah. I think the point is, everyone. You can pick up on something about it. every single person. See, you always. Yeah. I always wonder. <laughs> I'm not don't cast aspersions, but in like the 40s, 50s, 60s stuff like that, if people were on steroids or other drug, you know. Think enhancing drugs. I mean, would Bear. people would people know about it, or was it stuff that they probably didn't even test or anything? Yeah, yeah, did did they, they even have the thought the types of steroids? Didn't even test you for drink driving. But well, probably, yeah, probably not. No, no, but they'd have stuff that they probably thought they could make them enhance their uh, 
Mm, their ability to hit the ball probably, and probably the snake bounces. oil most of it <laughs> yeah but you know what I mean though mm. there was a certain stage where people probably took drugs that were ahead of the game mm. yeah uh, but they thought, thought well it's not illegal mm. so why not you know so in your in your opinion now you've seen Bond, Souza, Maguire Judge and who do you think's the, <sighs> the real home run king it's got to be Babe Ruth hasn't it look at that gut <laughs> He's got to hey, hit him a far, so he doesn't have to run as much. He's, he's, a <laughs> he's, just, he he's got a, a mild jog on. He had an individual <laughs> style there running, didn't he? But, uh, I doubt it's a tough one, isn't it? But yeah. I, I, I don't know much about it, really. No, I, I really don't. don't, you know, I don't. But there's a lot of things to delve into there, I think, mm. with all of them. You know, I, I know, I know. all I know is the things that he's just said there, but the, I'm sure there's loads of facts that we don't know about. Barry Bonds at 73. Baseball. That's a lot, that's isn't, a lot it? isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a huge amount. And Maguire at 70, I guess. I th- yeah, it's just, the question is whether or not steroids and stuff nullifies your achievement, mm. isn't it? It's, where, it's which side of the fence you come mm. down on I suppose on in most that. sports it does to a certain extent, doesn't yeah. it? But Does it? Yeah. Still got to put in the work. Yeah. You it's can't not. just take roids and suddenly be great at baseball, can you? It just gives you yeah. more power, doesn't it? Doesn't, yeah. doesn't improve your yeah. hand-eye coordination. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. reaction it's times it's and things like exactly that. Exactly the power, isn't it? Yeah. Without a doubt. I might uh, start taking roids and see if I can play baseball. What do you reckon? No. Nah. No? Oh, shame. <laughs> the only thing the only thing you'll get there, Dave, is you'll get a little dick, little than the one you've got. Smaller. Yeah. Flogging <laughs> a dead horse at this point. I'm really mad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys.